guy scored over 49,000 points in his career. He's one of the great basketball players that ever laced him up, and I couldn't be happier for him. When you think about the greatest basketball players of all time, who pops into your head? Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, or LeBron? Or maybe you're old school. You think of Kareem, Wilt, or the guy with more rings than fingers, Bill Russell. What if I told you there was another man who outscored and outlasted them all? Does the name Oscar Schmidt ring a bell? How about the nickname Holy Hand? Well, chances are you've never heard of this man, but he's the greatest international pro basketball player ever. 10, 10 for the American game? Huh? Huh? Hey, American! This is his incredible story. Oscar Schmidt never stepped foot in an NBA game, despite being drafted in 1984 by the Nets. For one, Oscar was insulted that the Nets took him in the sixth round. New Jersey Nets draft me. Sixth round. Come on. Do you know how many pe people are in the sixth round? Truly, it was something else. NBA teams did not permit their players to play for national teams, and Oscar was heavily involved in the national Brazilian scene. He chose to defend his country's honor rather than accept the Nets' contract. But before his big life decision, Oscar was a rising basketball prodigy. At the young age of 16, Oscar joined a professional club in Brazil. He instantly became the team's best player. His team won three Sao Paulo state championships, two Brazilian championships, and a FIBA international cup title. After dominating in his home country, Oscar made the move over to Italy. In Italy, it was no different. Oscar won seven Italian league scoring titles, three consecutive three-point contests, and made 10 consecutive all-star teams. Interestingly, Joe Jellybean Bryant was also playing in Italy at the time. So young Kobe Bryant grew up watching Oscar play and earned a tremendous amount of respect for him. In a later interview, Kobe said this about Oscar. Let me tell you a story. He was Bird before I ever had a chance to see what Bird was. Now, Oscar never played in the NBA, but he still competed against some of the NBA's greatest players ever. One of his defining moments of his career came at the 1987 Pan American Games. At the time, Team USA had won the gold medal every event since 1951. They only lost two games in Pan American history. Plus, in 1987, USA had home court advantage, with the games being held in Indianapolis. Team USA was stacked with the nation's top D1 players and several future NBA talents, including David Robinson. So, when Brazil matched up with Team USA in the gold medal game, everyone expected a blowout. And it was at first. But despite going down 68-54 to 54 at halftime, Oscar roared back and carried Brazil on his shoulders. Looking like a modern-day Steph Curry, Oscar drained shots from everywhere. He scored 46 points, with 35 of them coming in the second half. He shocked the world and single-handedly defeated the U.S. to win gold. I just heard stories that he had incredible range, and everything I heard about him was true. It was the greatest game he ever played. Oscar's performance left a crack in Team USA's confidence. A year later, that team finished third in the 1988 Olympic Games. This fueled a fire that led to the creation of the 92 Dream Team, the greatest basketball team ever assembled. Brazil faced off with the Dream Team in the 92 Olympics and were completely destroyed. But Oscar dropped a team high 24 points, draining five three-pointers. He finished the event as the top Olympic scorer, averaging nearly 25 points per game. Oscar did the same in 1996. He dropped 26 points and went 40% from three against Team USA. Again, he finished as the top Olympic scorer, this time averaging more than 27 points per game. Oscar proved his talent against the absolute best in the world. However, after the 96 Olympic Games, at the age of 38, Oscar finally decided to hang it up with Team Brazil. He walked away as Brazil's all-time leading scorer, racking up nearly 8,000 international points. As an Olympian, he recorded almost 1,100 points, averaging nearly 29 points per game, both of which today remain an Olympic record. Even though his national career was over, Oscar returned home to Brazil to continue to play professionally. From 1996 to 2003, he finished as the league's top scorer every single season. The man was a walking bucket. Unfortunately, all great things must come to an end. At the incredible age of 45 years old, Oscar Holyhand Schmidt retired from the game of basketball. With an infinite number of accolades, none were more impressive than his 49,000 total points. That's 10,000 more points than any other player in global basketball history. While we never saw him play in the NBA, Oscar Schmidt left his mark on the game of basketball. With Larry Bird by his side, Oscar was inducted to the 2013 NBA Hall of Fame. So now, when you're asked about the top basketball players of all time, you have another name to add to the list.
coaches and players here in the U.S. had to consider the possibilities that you know, there's a player across the water who's as good as anybody that we have here in the States. If you enjoyed these longer videos, hit the subscribe button and tick the notification bell. I have a ton of awesome content coming out and I always tailor my videos for the Henry Hoops audience. So subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.